Of all the energy that is used around the world, nearly a third is consumed by the building sector. In large cities, 80% of carbon emissions can come from energy used to heat, cool, and power buildings. Over the next few decades, the amount of energy used by the building sector will increase dramatically, and so will the amount of related emissions. In high growth regions, buildings energy use will increase by 2050. So improving the energy efficiency of buildings is vital for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Products that depend on chemistry can enable significant reductions in energy use and greenhouse gas emissions in the building sector. For example, energy-saving products installed in homes in the United States prevented nearly 252 million tons of CO2 emissions in 2010. Studies show that if this trend continues, more than 7 billion tons of emissions can be avoided by 2050 in the U.S. alone. And in the European Union, energy-efficient building products could create emission savings in homes of more than 13 billion tons by 2050. In Japan, more than 450 million tons of emission savings in homes is achievable in the same time frame. The global chemical industry is working on a roadmap to meet these ambitious goals. This roadmap will help chemical companies and policymakers work together to help ensure these savings are realized by 2050. So the chemicals industry not only provides the products and technologies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions today, it is also working on solutions for even more energy-efficient buildings tomorrow. <laughs>